Proposition 55. It's time we give the remaining $15 billion to the need, not the greed. As a brother like Noah from another home, I would be asking for steps out of class and additional responsibilities along with retro pay for all 800 L.A. County custodians. As the Board of Supervisors for the County of Los Angeles to the highest population in the state of California and the United States, you are our king and queens and mothers of L.A. County. I am asking and pleading to you, please follow the passing by the voters of California's Constitution, Article 13 and Section 8, Article 16, 85% of the $15 billion we can spend. As L.A. County employees, we are under attack by this President administration. Janice Act should be going down this week. I tried to wake us up with solutions, but, leadership, but our leadership has ignored me. I should be given a consultant fee and honored here in this boardroom for reading, understanding what is in the Proposition 30 and Proposition 55. Oh, four seconds. That's all of my time. Thanks for your honor. Thank, thank you, sir. Next speaker, please. Good morning, Madam Chair and members of the board. My name is Robin Bernstein Lev. I'm a 30 year veteran of the Los Angeles County Public Defender's Office. Proud veteran. The Los Angeles County Public Defender's Office requires additional resources to continue to competently represent our non citizen clients. The Public Defender's Office is uniquely situated to help this incredibly vulnerable population, but we cannot do it without adequate staffing. As the ACLU Defend LA report indicates, we are severely understaffed. Our staffing levels have not kept pace with the demands of changes in immigration laws, as well as the hostile immigration policies issued by a xenophobic White House. And big money. This board would affirm our core values right of equal treatment, community, you know what? family unity, you don't know and common anything. humanity, as, as well as ensure our criminal justice is accessible to all individuals, regardless of their immigration status. You don't know anything you talked about. Adequate Listen funding to a will role. ensure that Los Angeles County will not be complicit in the White House administration's mass deportations, separation of families, or allow the division of Californians on the basis of race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, immigration status, or national or ethnic origin. Immigrants are part of our culture. They're part of Los Angeles' heart and soul. Immigrants are, are necessary to our communities, and immigrant families should not be afraid that merely appearing in court will result in arrest or deportation by ICE. Los Angeles County and this board must continue to fight the indiscriminate mass deportation of its residents. These actions undermine trust between local communities and law enforcement. This board should demonstrate its commitment to valuing and protecting yeah. these immigrant communities by providing the public defender with adequate staffing. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Hi, my name is Kath Rogers. I'm here on behalf of the National Lawyers Guild Los Angeles chapter. NLGLA is the oldest human rights bar association in the country. We were founded in 1937, and we're here to encourage the board not to approve the budget unless there's adequate staffing in the public defender's office uh, with adequate immigration expertise. Right now, the PD's office lags behind other jurisdictions uh, in the state, even though uh, our county is home to many more uh, non-citizen res residents. Uh, than a lot of these other jurisdictions. We also lag behind the, the American Bar Association's recommendations, which, which are actually very modest. There's no way for the PD's office to effectively represent non-citizen residents without adequate staffing uh, in the immigration expertise uh, realm. The consequences could not be more dire today uh, with the federal deportation machine using local law enforcement as a pipeline uh, to deport residents and to have severe immigration consequences. Uh, the, the consequences for families couldn't be more severe. 
Providing adequate immigration expertise in the PD's office is a necessity under the Sixth Amendment to provide adequate uh, counsel. And it, it's necessary to, uh, to fulfill the PD's own mission of enriching lives uh, by providing effective and caring service. Uh, we strongly encourage the board to provide adequate staffing with at least 15 uh, new staff members in, that are, who are immigration experts. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Hi, my name is Janine Chair, and I work with the National Immigration Law Center. Um, we're seeing increasingly aggressive and inhumane policies from the federal government, which we can't control from the local level, but what you, the LA County Board of Supervisors, can do is to decrease the number of LA County residents who end up in the deportation pipeline. So that's why I'm also here to urge you to fund